What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a review on my Ditec AK-105. So let's get geared up and hop right into it. What's going on guys? We're going to be reviewing the AK-105 by Ditec today. So let's start off with some standard features that all AKs have is your lever, fire selector, bottom being semi, halfway up you have your full auto, and then all the way to the top you got your safety. Now, like all other AKs you have to pull this beast back, and there you can access your hop-up chamber, and it's got a standard slide AK hop-up. It's pretty fine adjustment, so you just easily slide it forward or back, and this will change your trajectory of the BB depending on what weight you use. Now we're going to be using two fives for all our tests today, so I'm going to leave it right where I had it before. On this AK-105 you have a fully skeletonized stock, which folds, which is a bit of a challenge. There we go. Oh, collapse just like that, now you got yourself an even closer weapon. So you can really keep it tight and maneuver around corners easier. But, I don't need to do any of that. <laughs> Alright, then we got our mag release, which is standard lever release, all AKs. And you just slap that thing right back in there by the lip, nice and smooth. And this is a, um, this is a SEMA of waffle style AK midcap and they seem to have the least wobble of all the midcaps I've tried with it. There's still a little bit there but it holds in really well. Let's get right to the range test. Alright so let's hop right into putting the battery in before we get to our shooting test. As you can see on this AK-105, the battery is wired to the top, and I managed to fit in this 11 one volt 1200 milliamp battery, uh, just barely, so uh, that's the max I would recommend for this gun. There we go. It's in! Voila! Alright, so we're going to be shooting at a target about 100 feet away to my 12 o'clock. It's this relatively thick tree, but a good distance. It's a good target. So let's try five shots. There are some sticks in the way, so that might reduce the accuracy a little bit. Start this. Hit. 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 One more for good measure. Hit. All right. So let's try something from a little further away. We've moved back to about 150 feet now. We're gonna shoot at the same tree for our target. There's still the same amount of sticks in the way, so we're gonna hope for the best, do another five shots. And this is with 0.25 gram BBs with the hop-up adjusted to about peak performance with the two fives. So let's get right to it. Well, that hit the stick. So, the hop-up is a little off, but we managed to hit the tree quite a few times in that little volley we did. So, um, for fun, let's try a little full auto. Same target, same tree, same distance, same two fives. Now 
Nearly all of those hit. That's what I call accuracy and volume. <laughs> so as you can see, two fives are a little light for if you want to get really good distance shots. So I really recommend uh, two eights, which I personally run, or threes. Three twos being the heaviest you use unless you upgrade this gun, which uh, our hop would be probably amazing in this because this already has great range. Um, but for stock performance, this is really good for a relatively mid-cost AEG. All right, so now we're gonna test the trigger response on this thing, which I can already tell you from months of using it is pretty good for a stock weapon, so let's get right to that. Doesn't that thing sound like a crispy piece of bacon? <laughs> so the average FPS rating for this gun that I've seen so far has been about 365 with two fives, uh, about 340 with two eights, which is what I standardly run. Uh, for some CQB fields, that's probably okay. Um, but this is mainly a field weapon for sure. You can get this gun at Evike, which is where I got it from. And I got this gun for about 240. It was on sale. I believe it's still on sale for that same price. Otherwise, the normal retail value is $300, which for an AK like this with amazing trigger response and good range, and a great fire rate, I definitely recommend buying this gun for the sale price. Or if you're a big fan of the 105 style, the standard price is very good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Ditech AK-105, and I'll see you guys on the next one.